Hi there, this is Girly Journey, and I am journaling my 300-mile section hike of the Pacific Crest Trail here in Washington State. I will be starting the last week of August in 2022 and hiking south towards the Bridge of the Gods in the Columbia River. I'm hoping to do this in approximately 28 days, which may be a little slow for some people, but it's about my pace. So, uh, today I'm going to show you my repair kit and my various electronics and other things that may not seem like electronics uh, but we've put in this category because they don't really fit anywhere else. Let's focus on my repair kit first. In my repair kit I actually have two knives. I know that's a little redundant um, but this one is mostly scissors and um, this one, the yellow one, is mostly is just knife. It's a really, really, really nice knife. It's like a $50 spider to a knife. And it's half an ounce. Highly recommend it. It's got a serrated blade. Um, cuts really well. Um, I do not use the blade on this one. I just use the scissors and the other tools. Um, so I get, if I was going to do away with one, I would actually do away with the micro... Um, with a Leatherman Micro that has the scissors rather than the, um, but it also has a bottle cap. So I'm hoping one day I'll get to a town and I'll need to open a bottle of cider and it will pay off. Um, I've also got various kinds of tape. You'll notice that I do not have duct tape. I just have various gear aid patches. And I'm hoping that that will be enough. This is um, kind of like cable ties. They're Velcro. Um, they're great for lashing all sorts of things and they don't weigh much. And this is a standard sewing kit. It's got a needle, two buttons, a couple of tiny um, safety pins. I have a larger safety pin, a binder clip, some zip ties batteries and a backup light. Obviously, I'm afraid of being in the dark. Um, I'll just accept it. I would much rather have this extra one and a half ounce light um, than risk and batteries than risk being in the dark. Um, the zip ties are a little unusual inclusion, but you know what? I've used them more than anything else in my repair kit, so they're in there. Over here, I have a USB micro B, a USB C, there's an A to micro B, A to micro, uh, A to C, two headphones, and the very observant may notice that this is audio and this one is USB-C. My phone has USB-C. Uh, I'm still waiting on the adapter for the audio. Um, it is, it should be here tomorrow. So that's one of my last minute inclusions. My loop earplugs, they're just silicone earplugs, um, but they fit really well, they work really well and a brick for plugging things into the wall. This is my solar panel and battery bank. Solar panel is about 12 ounces, battery bank is about seven or eight. Um, so together, um, they're definitely more than a pound. Uh, it's a lot of weight, um, but I use my phone a lot. I use, I like reading on my Kindle. I like listening to audiobooks and that does require a lot of power. Um, I will be out seven or eight days at a time between trails or between uh, trailheads, resupply spots. So making sure that I have eight days of power is very important to me. I do have paper maps, but um, I will be using my phone, I expect, for hours every day. And so having a way to recharge my battery bank. Um, I looked at taking a bigger battery bank and in the end it actually was about the same weight as just taking the solar panel. So I chose the solar panel. I have my Garmin inReach which goes on the outside of my pack and then these items, my insect one insect repellent, um, sunscreen, sunscreen for lips and lip repair ointment. Those all go in my hip pockets, so that's why they're all together. Uh, the Garmin will go on the outside of the pack because it needs to see the sky. So those are things that go on the outside of the pack. And 
my repair and electronics kit.